first guest tonight is a suave, talented, and versatile actor whose middle name is Mungo. We are going to find out why. His terrifying new movie is called Heretic. It opens in theaters a week from Friday. Please say hello to Hugh Grant. <laughs> Thank you for being here. I must ask you about your middle name because this is a little detail that I don't know how it slipped past me the last time, but Mungo is, is one of your middle names, yes? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Hugh Mungo? <laughs> Were you a giant baby? How did this happen? It's actually Hugh John Mungo. Hugh John Mungo, yeah. okay. Uh, I don't know how it happened. <laughs> I, I had very unkind parents. <laughs> You have, what, five kids? Yeah. Did you pass Mungo along to any of them? Worse. Oh. Uh, I have a daughter <laughs> who I named... I was in a bit of a panic with my wife on the day we named her, and we, we thought it might be nice for her when she was older if she could say in bars that her middle name was Danger. So her, her name is Lulu Danger Grant. That's yeah. good. Now, that's solid. I like yeah. that. <laughs> planning her bar Austin day. Powers. <laughs> <laughs> Do you like... I remember... Uh, or you, what, last time I think you were here, you mentioned that you were unnerved by Christmas, which seems... Um, is surprising to yeah, me. Yeah, disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> what about Halloween, if you're unnerved by Christmas? I'm getting used to Halloween. You are? Yeah, but it was never a thing. In England, it was never a thing when I was a boy. So uh -huh. It was more of an American thing. We had, uh, round about the same time of year, we had Guy Fawkes Day, which is delightful. It's where we... We burn a Roman Catholic. Mm, uh, yeah. <laughs> we, <laughs> no, it's charming. The children build a huge bonfire and uh, they create a Roman Catholic with a hat. <laughs> and then we burn him. <laughs> Always a male, uh, never a female, huh? Always a male. Always a male. Uh, we're, okay. we're, we're, we're good like that. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> but anyway, no, Halloween now is huge. It's come over the, the Atlantic and it's huge, and my children love it. They love it. Actually, Lulu Danger Grant. <laughs> and her sister, Blue Grant, um, named Blue because, again, I panicked about names with my wife. And so we asked her elder brother when she was on the way, so there's a new baby coming along, what should we call her? And he said, Kevin. Because <laughs> that was his favourite minion. <laughs> <laughs> And we did think about calling her Kevin, but then uh, we said, you better think of something else. So he said blue, because it was his favourite colour. Anyway, Lulu and Blue um, are too good at Halloween. Are too good at Halloween? Yeah, they're, you know those twins in The Shining? Uh -huh. The little boys on his tricycle, and then the two little identical girls come play with us, Danny, forever and ever and ever. And they go from house to house doing that. They look very similar, they're almost the same size, even though they're different ages. And is, they're too good. And we've had notes saying, please don't send your children anymore. <laughs> they're scaring the, the yeah, neighbors? They're too, they're too good. This is a, we looked at, we searched far and wide to get a picture of you in a Halloween costume. This is the closest we, we got. This is your uh, UNICEF Halloween ball. Um, did you win laziest costume? <laughs> it's not good, is it? It's no. Not good. I, this is like a costume I would wear that my daughter gets very upset with me. She's like, you can't just put, like, I have, a, like, a hat that looks like a piece of pizza. You can't just put a pizza on your head. You have <laughs> to wear a real costume. Yeah, I'm not sure a real man makes too much effort in there with a costume. <laughs> that, you know what? That's what I'm going to tell my 10-year-old daughter. <laughs> <laughs> Um, you, by the way, you did something that I have to imagine landed you in the Parents Hall of Fame for a while. You, you took your daughter to see Taylor Swift over the summer, which is a strong move just to start with. No hardship. No hardship? No. Okay. I'm mad about Taylor. I didn't say there was a hardship, but I'm just saying that um, not only did you take her, you posted something uh, to Taylor, a uh, bit of a fan letter. You see, you have an incredible show, an amazing and hospitable team, and an excellent, if gigantic, boyfriend. Hashtag tequila shots. Thanks so much for one aging London boy wife and a thrilled eight-year-old, and she wrote back to you. As a longtime Hugh Grant stan, this tweet is very important to my culture. <laughs> and that got 3.1 million views. Now... <laughs> Did you show this to your daughter, and how did she react if you did? 
Um, I, I'm not sure she really understands Twitter too well, but um, <laughs> she does want to meet Taylor, and I haven't been able to lay that on for her. Oh, you haven't. Are you working on that, or you feel like that's a bad thing? Every to do? day. I Every day. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, this is a photograph we have, I believe, of you uh, at the concert uh, eating, uh, I think, a ca is that a carrot in your mouth? We don't know. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> You've got earplugs. Yes. At least one of the ears. But that's the warm-up band. I would never have had earplugs. I see. I see. <laughs> <laughs> Did you do shots with Travis Kelsey? Is that true? So many shots. So many shots with him and his friends. I don't know who they were. I don't know what was happening. But I do know that I got to the stage where I could shake it off. Yeah, you <laughs> shook it off. <laughs> you, um, do you like working with children? I know you've worked with um, children uh, a lot of times. Is that something that uh, you look forward to? I'm marvelous with anyone I work with. Uh-huh. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> I know, I have, look, ch children actors, fine, I've done a lot of that. I draw the line at children crew. Oh. Uh, I, yeah, I... <laughs> OK. I was just remembering the other day, in my <laughs> early career, in my 20s, I did some very strange films. I did this uh, French film in India in 1988, and uh, it was a bit of a weird film anyway. And I arrived in Calcutta by myself and was told, you know, your driver will pick you up. And I went to the baggage carousel, and everyone else picked up their bags, and a driver met them, and off they went. And it was just me, in the end, left alone with my bag, very sad. And a, and a little boy with, with no parents. And then the little boy came up and said, hello, sir, I am your driver. <laughs> and he was, uh, he was maybe 11 years old. <laughs> I said, are you sure? He said, yes, my name is Bisu, I am your driver for the whole film. And I said, oh, can you drive Bisu? Yes, very well, sir, very well. <laughs> and uh, I had my doubts, but uh, he did drive me, and sure enough, within four days, crashed quite badly. Oh, no! <laughs> Well, he was 11. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, well, but, you know, <laughs> India was a strange place in 1988. And he was fired, poor chap. And then I bumped into him right at the end of the shoot. It was about two months later. I bumped into him in the street in Calcutta. I said, oh, Bisu, how are you? What's happening? Are you all right? He said, oh, yes, sir, now I'm driving a school bus. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's called a promotion. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Well, we have Hugh Grant is here. His movie is called Heretic. We'll be right back. And you're both raised in the church, yeah? Born and raised. My m mother was a convert, so um, when my dad passed away, we auditioned a few different churches just to see what was out there and see if we still believed in it. I know that it. feeling. Mm -hmm. I know that feeling very well. It's so important to, to find your faith in a doctrine you actually believe, and that's a very, very personal struggle. That is a personal challenge that I've struggled with for a very, very long time. You know, what is the one true religion? <laughs> That is Hugh Grant in Heretic, which is in theaters a week from Friday. Wow, that's... Clue everyone in a, a little bit on what's going on there in that scene. Yes, well, it looks inexplicable, doesn't it? It's, uh, it's two Mormon girls, missionaries, going house to house somewhere in the Midwest, and their last port of call one day is this house where uh, apparently charming and rather intellectually stimulating... Uh, <laughs> chap called uh, Mr. Reed answers the door, invites them in, and they say, well, we can't come in unless there's a, a female present. He says, oh, no, no, my wife's here, she's cooking a pie. And they come in, and everything seems nice. And then things start going weird. You can just see it in my excellent yeah. acting there. You're, yeah. By the way, <laughs> I know you're being, you're being funny, but your acting is excellent in this movie. And it's a really, really gripping and scary movie. You're very, very creepy. <laughs> I know, that's what my girlfriends always say. <laughs> <laughs> Do you like scary movies? Are you a fan of the genre in general? I, I've never been able to cope ever since The Wizard of Oz. I had to be taken screaming out of The Wizard of Oz. <laughs> that movie still scares me, too. Yeah. That's one of the... That witch is, is bah. terrifying. <laughs> Unspeakable. I remember seeing her in coffee commercials, Margaret Hamilton, the witch, yeah. and being scared of her certain, pitching coffee. They should have burnt her. <laughs> <laughs> you um, you made a lot of romantic comedies um, and, and beloved, beloved movies that you're probably tired of hearing about. And now you've made a horror movie, and I thought it might be fun if we... And might, it might not be, but we'll find out 
if we, uh, I would like to ask you, I've got some lines from famous scary movies, yeah. and if you would read them in two ways, one as in a scary way, and all, then in a romantic, uh, humorous way. And see if we can tell the difference. <laughs> I feel like we will, because we have lighting cues, all right? Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> the first is the movie Silence of the Lambs. Um, there's the line, you think about it. Okay, what's this lighting cue? All right. Wow, we really went all out. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, Clarice. How was that? That was really good. Yeah. I'd hire And you. now? And now in a rom-com rom way. Well, um, hello, <laughs> Clarice. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. You're Clarice. Yeah. Here's... The movie is yeah. The Exorcist. Yeah. The power of Christ compels you. Or... Uh, do you know, <laughs> the power of Christ compels you. <laughs> I like this a lot. Psycho. Yeah. We all go a little mad sometimes. Or, I don't know, we all go a little mad sometimes. <laughs> Am I doing two more? All right. Wow, this is uh, great. Oh, uh, yeah. Hi. Hi, I'm Chucky. Want to play? <laughs> or, um, hi, sorry, I'm, I'm Chucky. I, I just wondered if you'd maybe like to play. <laughs> and one more. <laughs> Okay, well, this is not a, this is from uh, one of your films, Love Actually. Yes. Uh, uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know, if you look for it, I have a, a sneaky feeling that love actually is all around. <laughs> Wow, that's, that is spectacular. Hugh Grant, everybody. Heritage is in theaters a week from Friday. Thank you, Hugh. We'll be back with Al.